how y'all doing? I'm going to make this video today. I'm cooking my dinner and I'm going to talk to you guys. Um, I subscribe to a group called Cafe Mom. I'm not going to name any names or anything else, but the post was, how do I cook dinner from scratch when I don't know how to cook? And reading through the comments and stuff, the girl doesn't understand measurements kind of confuse her and everything else. Now I've heard this before, so this wasn't something new to me. The thing about cooking, you don't have to always do it from scratch to make it taste good. I've done a few videos already that you probably watched if, if you subscribe to my channel or if you watch my videos, is you can use box food, frozen food, and make it taste good. You season it. Use seasonings that, that you like to take to make the taste better. And you don't have to spend a lot of money buying all the ingredients you need to make something that tastes really good. Like today, I am just throwing together some steak and macaroni and cheese, but I'm going to put it all together. The thing is, I'm going to make it taste better. I'm going to move this down so you can see my countertop. I'm going to saute up these vegetables. I have green peppers, onions, mushrooms. These are canned mushrooms. And cherry tomatoes that I cut up into pieces. Now in this pot I have two tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to put these in and let them start working. In this pot, I already have it ready for my macaroni and cheese. This is um, pastaroni. Actually, this was on sale for 88 cents. This is shells and white cheddar. I'm doing it exactly to package directions, which calls for two tablespoons of butter, two cups of water, and two thirds cup of milk. Now in this pot, I already have the two tablespoons of butter and the two cups of milk. Okay, here's my cutting board. Now this is where I'm going to add a little bit of salt, not too much salt, because you're going to get salt with the, the cheese from the macaroni, garlic powder, not too much because you can always add more later. Italian seasoning. I add this to a lot of things. I'm just going to move them around. Break up the little on onions. They didn't separate. We want this to all cook evenly. Okay, here is my meat. These are boneless beef ribeye steaks. I buy them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece, and they taste pretty good. But there are some weeks I just can't afford to go regular grocery shopping, so all these save a lot. The Dollar Tree have become my friends. You can buy whatever you need at any of those stores. I want the vegetables to cook together, but I don't want them to um, burn or overcook. My steaks are still semi-frozen. 
which is what I wanted. I don't want it to thaw them all the way because I want to be able to cut them. So what I'm just going to do, I don't have the best knives. Cut them a long way, just in half. bite-sized pieces. So I cut them one the long way and then I'm just cutting so the pieces are about bite size. Well by the time you cook them down and everything else they'll be about bite size. About this size. The water is starting to boil for the macaroni and cheese. Directions say to reduce heat to medium after it returns to a boil. And these will cook for 12 to 14 minutes. The only thing that I'm going to put on these steaks right now is adobo, just a little bit. I don't want to overkill the flavor or the taste. Not even going to put it on the other side. I'm kind of just going to mix it together. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the onions and peppers and tomatoes and stuff out. They're not cooked all the way, they're not cooked down all that much which is what I want. I want them to keep their color because sometimes when they, when you overcook them, they lose all their color and they just look kind of blah on your dish. So I still want them to have their color and everything else. And automatically, I'm going to rinse this because they're actually going right back in there after my steak cooks. We have my cook, my cut up steak. I'm just gonna add that. Actually, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I'm just gonna add it right back, right into the pot. And I'm gonna cook that up. And when it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, Kayla woke up from a nap, so he's gonna join us for the rest of my video. The steak was finished. So how I wanted it, I added the, the onions and peppers and mushrooms all back in and I left the heat on for a couple minutes. Now I'm going to turn the heat off. My pasta finished boiling. I added the milk and the cheese. I'm just waiting for that to, to finish up. I had to reboil it and I'm just waiting for it to, uh, to thicken to the consistency that I need. And then I'm going to put the meal together and I'll be right back. Okay, now that my pasta is ready and my steak and my veggies and stuff are ready, I'm just going to add the pasta right into the steak. Mixture like that. You're going to have to get down for a minute, okay? One minute. On these right here. Get my spoon and just mix it together. The point of this video was... Nope. Besides... Cooking my own dinner. Was to show that the person on Cafe Mom that you can make recipes. You don't have to make everything from scratch. You can grab things like how I have an onion and peppers and tomatoes and just cut them up and add them to make regular ordinary food better. Seasoning. Um, you can get a box of macaroni and cheese and make it your own. You don't always have to do everything from scratch. 
I know she wants to make things from scratch because she wants to learn how to cook. But this is how you start. You grab box food or frozen food even, grab some seasonings and season it and experiment. And then once you get better at that, like experimenting and making up, you know, recipes that are really good from the box, go on and start making things from scratch. Everything that you make is trial and error, trial and error. You know, you can have the recipe right in front of you and for some reason the cookie looks excellent in the book or the cake looks excellent in the book and you make it to the exact directions and it looks like you wouldn't even want to feed it to your dog. I've had that happen. It's, it happens, you know, you could cook the same recipe a million times and that one time you're having an off day and it could taste terrible. So it's not even the fact that a recipe can save you sometimes. But anything that I've tossed together, like some days I have peppers and onions and all that in my fridge. And I'm like, hmm, how can I add this to something to make it better? Today, my meal was a box of pastaroni, shells and white cheddar that was on sale at the store, three steaks that I bought at the Dollar Tree for a dollar each, and some peppers, some onions, and what else do I have? A can of mushrooms and tomatoes cut up into pieces and just sauteed together. Added some seasonings, and there's my dinner. It didn't take me that long. I tossed it together. It looks good. I will show you. But I did not have everything ready. Someone woke up from their nap a little earlier than expected. That's why he is here on hand. And right now we wanted to get into my lights. That's what it looks like. But that's all it takes to make a really good dinner. It doesn't take much at all. It doesn't take much effort. It doesn't take you racking your brain or trying to read a cookbook recipe that you don't understand. Like, not everybody was made for the kitchen. Not everybody was made to be a baker. You know, sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. Cal and I would like to thank you for watching our dinner video and have a great day.